The final destination for the explosives was a dealer here in the Detroit area, but when the crates were to be unloaded, all 32 cases, more than 500 pounds, had vanished with the exception of one crate that was found near the railroad tracks near Logan and Central in Southwest. These are not items you could possibly buy at a local fireworks store. This kind of fireworks you're talking about, two and a half inch, the five inch aerial shells, and they're commercial grade. They're not something that you can get from a stand, uh, fireworks stand, or consumers should be able to purchase at a store. ATF is retracing the train's route, but the chief operating theory is the crates were stolen here. Was it planned or was it a crime of opportunity? Unclear, but it certainly wasn't just one person unloading 500 pounds of commercial grade fireworks. They found a case of unopened explosives on the ground. So we don't know if they took it and, 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 and this one just fell off the train because it was already being you know, taken or if the thieves had it and couldn't load it.